Hi everyone, it's Alena from JetBrains, and today I'm going to present you what's new in the Datalore Enterprise 2022.3 release. One of the challenges that Datalore is undertaking with the new version is removing the hurdles to understanding and sharing data science results company-wide. We're thrilled to be introducing a major update for reporting workflows and making Datalore more affordable for small teams. Watch this video till the end to learn what's new. First, let's take a look at reporting and and sharing updates. Data scientists can now build beautiful dashboard style reports with the report builder, highlight specific numbers with metric cells, work with data inputs via data cells, filter and sort data frames from the user interface and share their work with the groups of users. Let's take a closer look at the Report Builder. The Report Builder revolutionizes the way you build reports from notebooks and data lore. Drag and drop the cells on the canvas easily adjust their height and widths, publish the result as a static or interactive report with the click of a button, and share it with your stakeholders simply via a link. What is special about the reports in Datalore is that there is a direct connection between the analysis, the data, the environment, and the final report. This means that you can update reports in seconds and easily answer the questions about where the data comes from. Now I will show you the new way data frames are displayed in Datalore. We've added a pinch of Excel for working with data frames. You can now apply filtering and sorting to Pandas data frames and SQL query results directly in the cell output. Select the columns to display, sort the data set by a specific column, filter using equals and contains expressions, and easily jump to the top or the bottom of the data set. And my favorite feature from this release is that Datalorm will generate the boilerplate Python code to reproduce the same table later on in the notebook. With the 2022.3 release, it's now easy for data scientists to emphasize the dynamics of certain metrics and show the results for the given period specified by report users. With a metric cell, you can make your Python variable stand out from the rest of the notebook and choose to compare it either with another constant variable or with the results of the cell's previous execution. With a date cell, you can ask your report users to choose a specific date or a period and then use the selection as a variable in your code. We got a lot of requests to add user group support and it is now available with 2022.3 release. You can now easily manage who can access notebooks and workspaces via group sharing. There are two ways to create groups of users. Manually make them from inside Datalore's admin panel or sync groups from your authentication provider, for example, from Azure ID with the JetBrains Hub authentication module and hence with Datalore. While we were massively upgrading the reporting workflows, we decided also to change the look and feel of the reports. Table of contents are now collapsible. The recalculate report button has been moved to the top right hand corner. Static and interactive reports now look the same. Publishing and printing options are now nested under the menu tab, and the comments and embed features are now available on cell hover and static reports. Please note that we've deprecated cell visibility controls, as you can now choose what cells to include into your reports with Report Builder. We've also fixed the bug causing secrets not to be attached to interactive reports, and rerunning such reports will now work smoothly. Since the 2022.2 release, we've been actively working on improving data connections in Datalore. In the new 2022.3 release, we added Google BQuery to the list of supported data integrations. You can now create a Google BQuery connection through Datalore's interface, choose the schemas you want to work with, browse the schemas tree and query data inside native SQL cells. For SQL, you can enjoy code completion and syntax highlighting, and for query results, you get automatic plots, interactive sorting and filtering, statistical summaries, and a seamless transition to Python. We also improved user experience for S3 buckets. You can now attach AWS S3 and GCS buckets from the same interface as SQL databases. And browse the bucket's file systems. You can also see a file preview in the right-hand sidebar and copy the file path with one click. With Datalore Enterprise 2022.3, you can now connect to your remote databases using SSH tunneling. This will create an encrypted SSH connection between Datalore and your gateway server. Using SSH tunnels makes it possible to connect to databases that are not exposed to the public network. Before we jump into announcing the new pricing for small teams, 
Let's take a look at what's new in Datalore's installation and configuration. First, you can now run Datalore on the cluster of machines using Docker Swarm. When we first released Docker-based installation, it was only possible to run Datalore on a single machine. And if you wanted to run Datalore on a cluster, then Kubernetes-based installation was the way to go. Docker Swarm machine connections can be used as an alternative to Datalore's Kubernetes-based installation if you don't have an existing Kubernetes cluster. Second, if you have any machines outside of your cluster, it's now possible to connect them to your digital or computational power using a seamless TeamCity integration. And third, we've massively extended the logging capabilities of Datalor and enabled the login of actions related to the admin panel, the terminal, the attached data tab, workspaces, the computation tab, and more. And last but not least, we have exciting news for small teams. Datalor Enterprise is now free for teams of up to four people. Furthermore, the price for large teams has also been reduced used, since the first four users are free. Datalore Enterprise now also officially participates in JetBrains special offers programs. You can learn more about the available startup, non-profits, and classroom discounts from our new website. I hope this video inspired you to try Datalore Enterprise 2022.3 for your data science team. You can get started with a free Datalore Enterprise license for four users, or request a one-month trial for up to 1,000 users. Thanks a lot for watching this video till the end. To stay up to date about new features in Datalore, subscribe to Datalore's blog, JetBrain's YouTube channel, and follow Datalore on Twitter. All the links would be in the video description. See you very soon and have a good rest of the day. Bye.